This is one of the only thermocooled greenhouses in all of Arizona that worked for seven years. And it works in the Arizona weather. When it's 110 outside, it was 80 degrees inside with no fans or blowers. The cost was minimal. Once you take away the cost of running a fan or a blower or any electric products to keep it going, then it becomes cheap to run. We ran this greenhouse with three little aquarium pumps, the kind that you see in little fish tanks, and it was pennies a day to run it. Now, let me show you what it looked like inside. This is where the back wall is, the north wall of this, and we had over 200 plants across the north wall. And so this gave us a lot of room. It like doubled our floor space. Instead of being out flat, it was up the wall. This was inside the greenhouse in about three months. Now see that little line flashing? Right above it is two inch by three inch trays that those basil plants are growing in. Look how thick and full those basil plants are. They're almost three feet tall. We supplied two restaurants with basil all the time. This is the greenhouse with the vents closed. This is where they're starting to come open. They were thermostatically controlled. As the heat would ri rise in this, the vent would go to halfway and then it would go to full open. Now, if it got cold during the daytime, a cloud would come by, windy, rainy, whatever, then this would automatically close itself down and retain its heat. Just like that, the vent would go closed. This is the cooler pad that supplies the cool air to the greenhouse. And this was 36 feet long. This was inside the greenhouse where you have plumerias, Hawaiian flowers, artichokes, basil, roses. We had all kind of plants. Here are Japanese tomatoes, golf ball size. There's 50 tomatoes in a cluster. That's a lot of tomatoes in one little group, and we had groups of them. This works in the heat or the cold. We use twin wall polycarbonate. In the winter time, we use two 100 watt light bulbs on the floor. When it's 30 degrees or less outside, it was 50 to 5 degrees or more inside. Now, here it is again with the louvers open, and that lets you know how the airflow is going. Here's what we can grow in two small 6 foot by 10 foot gardens 7,000 tomatoes plus a month. The new greenhouse that we're building will hold 18 of those gardens and could yield up to 31,000 tomatoes a month. That's a lot of tomatoes. So this is some of the other options that you have. We make a net harvest 8 garden which holds 24 plants. In the large greenhouse it would hold 18 of those gardens which would hold 432 plants. This is a list of the plants, some of the plants that could be put into that garden. We are now building a large greenhouse. This is 24 feet wide and the smallest would be 12 feet long up to 24 feet wide up to 54 feet long. We will use our principles of thermal cooling to save you money. A greenhouse with the hydroponic gardens inside will become high production. This can save you money. Now we are trying to do this and sell large greenhouses at cost plus 10 percent. So here's what we're doing. We're starting with a list of potential buyers. We're getting pledges. Would you like to have a greenhouse that's whatever size you want? We would take down your name and your address and your phone number and when we get enough pledges to start production then we will get half down from each of the pledges and start their greenhouse. They will be getting it at cost plus 10 percent after they get ready to ship, we will ship all the orders with freight being addition. We will not include the freight in this because we don't know where we're shipping to and how much it's going to cost. Now this is the back side of the greenhouse showing the cooler pad again and all balance will be due before we ship. So the other half of what people will owe will be have to be paid before we will ship the greenhouse or release it. Now, let's tell you a little more about the greenhouses. Directional louvers will be used to increase the airflow, adding power to the airflow. Now, we're also going to use in the large greenhouse, which is 24 by 54 foot, 
we can use six aquarium pumps to cool that greenhouse. That's all that we're going to use for energy. We cannot not show you this until we're ready for production. The large greenhouse that we're going to produce now will be 24 feet wide, up to 54 feet long, and 14 feet tall. For every four foot of cooler pad opening, there will be four foot of venting. This means the air will not be restricted from one direction to the other. This works day or night. Tell a friend. Be the first on your block to get one. Now, let's tell you who we are. We're aquaculture. We've been in business for quite a while and doing hydroponics and we've learned about a lot of different ways of gardening since 1978. We're located in Tempe, Arizona on 2125 South Priest, number 302. Now, what we want is if you would, with any questions, call us up. You can email us, but that means somebody has to go and find the email. If you call us up, we're right there. We're ready to answer your questions. We can talk to you about this. We can banter back and forth, and we can see if we can't make everything to where it's like, oh, my God, that would be great. We will take any and all help to get this project started. We need to get this off the ground. A dollar and up will help. This is going to start a project in the United States. This is something new, and that's what we're all about. So if there's anybody out there cheering us on, cheer us on by, by helping us out. A little, a lot, whatever it is. We'll take any of it, and we're going to use it to get this thing going. Give us a call. Let us know. You'll be happy. Thanks. Bye. Now, who are those people that can use a high-production greenhouse? Well, it's a pretty diverse group. It could be something as like survivalist, a produce stand. could be the neighborhood greenhouse where people come and have a community greenhouse. People that want quality produce. Rooftop greenhouses, like in Brazil, it's a big thing there. People that want to control their food. People that want to eat better food. Schools grow their own food, and the students are part of it. That's who could use it. If you live on a farm or a ranch or a gourmet cook, this is a greenhouse that has a controlled environment, and the hydroponics are a root delivery system. This equals high production. Tell one of your friends, have other people look at this and let sit down and figure out what you think is working. Give us a call. Thanks.